And thus, I present to you Pythagoras. Now, we're not gonna call her Pythagoras every single time. I'm actually gonna shorthand her as Pith, which will be confusing since Pythra exists, but this is Pith. Um, Pythagoras, yes. Um, you know, the inventor of the Pythagorean theorem, you know? Yeah, do your studies. Woohoo. Um, and this is gonna be our first casual amiibo. I am actually really excited for this. Obviously, um, Pith has the best final smash in the game. And, uh, yeah. I added on to floaty jumps just to see how this amiibo really reacts to it. But let's get into this. I've already made a custom rule set. It's called FSR. Pretty good. Um, we're just gonna get into it, yeah. And there's a whole bunch of stages to explore as well. Because I, I kind of just want to test out, like, you know, all the stages that are, um... Obviously, I didn't put all the stages on there, but I want... I put on some, like, really good ones for a final smash. So there's, like, big battlefield. Um, all the legal stages are on. I put on some other stages as well, though. So I'm just so sure that this is gonna be like really fun. Um, oh, she's floaty as fuck. She just floated across the stage. What I'm hoping for though, is that with the final smash meter and whatever, is that when final smashes are on, she just floats across the stage and then, you know, she could do her final smash from any Dang, CPU Zelda really hates Pythagorean Theorem. Um, but she can just do her final smash anywhere, and really quick. Obviously this is gonna be like a less technical of a character, but that's kind of the point. I mean, Zelda's already pretty bad as it is. Um, she does have the pocket double final smash if she needs. Um, of course, this is only a slight chance of that happening, so, uh, I don't know. You know, being able to recover from longer distances. See, like that. As long as she can just maintain that. And to be honest, with the... See, like that, double final smash. And dead? Oh, no. I was gonna say, yeah, that just turns around the whole game now. You know? Kill percent. But yeah, that double final smash is gonna come in clutch. Oh, she almost dodged that to be honest. Guys, would you smash Zelda? I'll have a Krabby Patty. How original. And with extra onions. Daring today, aren't we? One Krabby Patty, extra onion. Just some uh, questions to think about while we, uh, you know while we're playing Smash Brothers. I'm really interested to see what kind of like combos or whatever the uh, Amiibo does. Um, the CPU looks like it's just zoning, which is pretty much what Zelda is. It's just a zoner, but I'm curious what Pith will do in response. Like, will there be anything technical? We have seen excellent spacing from uh, Zelda CPU. We have seen phenomenal spacing, and I hope that transfer transfers well because I'm like shit with Zelda. Well, I may say that, but like I, I'm just like like I I don't know how Zelda's like hitboxes and shit works. Dead. Oh, she's about to. Ooh. We were about to see her dodge that with her uh, floaty jump mechanic. I saw her scrambling in the air. It looks like she was moonwalking in the air. It's pretty clean. Sick tech, pith. Yeah, but I'm just like super curious to see what this amiibo is capable of. I'm also um happy that we get our first casual amiibo because shoot, I've been making all of them like, you know, tryhards. I think this is gonna be a very relaxed one. I say that now, but in 20 minutes, I guarantee you, Pith is gonna start kicking my ass. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, I thought that lasted a little bit longer. Oh, I'm also not good with teleport. I have not practiced teleport. I mean, I guess the only character that I've practiced teleports with is Mewtwo. So that's the only ground based I know, but it's like, I don't think that's enough to be honest. Do it. And the second one, yeah. Okay, okay, that's fine. You know, we can deal with that. It's not dead. Well, it might be because of- okay. I didn't think it was dead because of raw knockback, but it could have been. Man. These games are going by fast. I've been playing um, some Amiibo content for like a while now. It's basically like a weekly thing pretty much, but the games seem to be going by really fast. I went by in two minutes and I know it's just my playstyle. I have a super aggro playstyle, but like, I don't know what's up with me. It's like, shoot, the games are like in like a minute and 30 seconds or something like that. Maybe it's just my get it done quick mentality, but it's like, it's literally like, it feels like it, you know, it feels like it shouldn't even like take that long or like, you know, be that fast. Oh, I think I forgot. Oh, I forgot. I'm not, you know, typically I, I think I do use the, the black all a lot or not the black all, the blue all. I do love that up tilt. That up tilt is really fun. I forgot she does have that tilt. Dang, I might, yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh, seriously? Oh, now I'm gonna die. Got him. I was gonna say, the sheer knockback, I've done that before, where it's like the knockback itself just kills you. I don't think this is gonna do anything, but. I wanted to see if I could like cheese her or something. It is so refreshing to play with Final Smashes. I will say that. Final Sma I have not played Final Smashes online in a while. It's been a hot minute. Can I do something like that? Like a laggy up air or something? I really don't know what I'm doing with this character, but it works because it's like, like obviously I do know what I'm doing. It's just, I haven't experimented with this character. You know what I mean? So I don't know what kills, I don't know what does what exactly, but it seems like this character is really fun. I also want to make, ooh, ooh, this is maybe spoiling the future of the series, but I also wanted to make like a team based setup because there is, um, what is it? For spirits and teams and amiibos would go crazy. You guys would have to vote in the comments what teams you want to see because like obviously that takes four minimum four amiibos but like dude doubles with spirits would be crazy but i wanted to make a team that was oriented to like just like stalling and shit we're not stalling necessarily but like you know because there's a jam fs charge as i said but then there's also like um a spirit that's like team attack up, which is crazy. Basically you get boosted stats if you're in a team. So I was thinking like doing something like that.
Isn't her like front air or not front air, forward air like better than her back air? I don't really, is it? You just gotta space them differently, isn't that the thing? I believe, isn't her like forward air like more consistent or something than her back air? Oh, she was so close to dying. I love this zoning. Hear me out. Yeah, but I'm like super excited to see what Pith can do, to be honest. And I'm super excited to see like the matchups between like, you know, final smashes because I think it's no doubt that like Pith or I should say Zelda um, has the best final smash. I think it's no doubt. I mean, in some maps, it literally just kills off of knockback. You guys, I mean, I haven't shown it today, but I've literally been, I've literally killed people at zero. And actually, I think I have shown it in like a video or something. Like it does actually just kill at zero sometimes. Dang, is my spacing just like really good? I've never been like this lucky with spacing. I've never done like shit like that. I might have to do, well, see like that, 4%. So my spacing just must be like really good today. What was she at? Oh, I did not mean to do that mission, but. That was nice, that was like she floats. Dang. Her moves are really spammy. I can see why like she's still being used in competitive play today, to be honest. Watch this. Oh. It's, a, it's such a weird thing because like unless you play in the competitive scene like it's like everyone says or I guess if you do play in the competitive scene everyone says like Zelda is such a low tier but it's like in the, I, I see why it's because like spacing gets really hard and especially if you know that Zelda has like poor spacing and relies on zoning heavily. But like it becomes the issue of oh pro players know how to not be zoned out you know so it's like do you zone do you space she has a complicated flow chart and i think that's the reason why people are like oh she's low tier or whatever um in the upper ranks but it's like ever else it's like oh my goodness she actually seems like a really fun and viable character she's not like broken like oh fuck. She's not like broken, like um, what is it, like I guess anyone you could say is a top tier, like Palutena and all of them, she's not like anything like that, but she is like, she does have her moments, you know? I think she takes like more skill to use than other characters though, and that's Pretty much the basis. Like her moves feel fast in general, but obviously they have lag to it. It just does not seem like it. Maybe I'll pick up like another Zelda amiibo and toy around like with an offensive one, um, like an offensive kit because it's honestly so fun to test out like the possibilities and I'm dead. And she has another final smash. Interesting. I did not realize that. The, uh, dang, forty percent. I did not realize that the chance for a double final smash is that great. I thought it would be like a five percent chance. I know I've seen it before, but it's like there's no point in not using it. To be honest, I might as well just burn it.
did not realize that will kill. But yeah, like Zelda's like format and design and how she approaches everything is uh it's very unique. It's like like it's really hard to position her uh her on like a tier list in my opinion. Because it's like Zelda shines kind of because she's like she's like the premier zoner, right? Like you have two projectile what the fuck? I did not legalize this. I shoot, I guess we're riding grandpa. Pause. Also, I do need to play Xenoblade 3. I know it's a I know like everyone's like, oh, premiere, you know, Nintendo game. Really good. Play it now. But to be honest, I was not impressed with Xenoblade, um the first one. You know. So I was like, um, maybe I wouldn't like it. But um, ever since I started playing uh, Pirate and Mithra, I just have wanted to pick up, um, what's it called? Xenoblade 3. Or is it 2? Is it 2 or 3? I don't know. The one that's for the Switch, right? I've just wanted to pick it up. I barely made that back. Dang. Burn it. Oh, I upbeat. Oh my goodness. And okay, I was about to say I'm not dead, but I think yeah, she's dead here. Oh, what? They must have nerfed that. I was 1% sure. It used to be like 42% or something. Damn. It used to be like 42%. Oh, I do like how to... Okay, so uh, we're fighting like some JoJo's ass character. Yeah, but I I've been wanting to play Xenoblade, the one with Pyra and Mithra because I picked them up and they're like such adorable characters and I've seen all the memes about them like oh Rex touch my chest or whatever the meme is I just like I keep on getting shit about them in my feed so I'm like I might as well just play the game right and everyone's saying it's such a good game so I'm like yeah basically that you see what I mean though? Like Zelda is like, and I guess it's like the aggressive mindset is that like not everyone's like aggressive. Like people want to be laid back. Some people just don't want to have to, you know, put in the effort to fight and do all that. But like Zelda feels different. Y you know, it feels like, it doesn't feel like Zelda is a slow two that everyone's talking about. But also the difference is, is that, um, the game has 80 characters, so of course you can't just put everyone in mid tier and call it a day. I wonder if uh, giving her a floaty jump was a bad idea. Also this is Premier, um, what is it, Zelda Zone. And I think she's getting to that stage where she just jumps. Bro, I'm hoping Pith becomes like a super sniper. You know how cool that would be? Like kind of like a snake, you know, with missile. I'm hoping that's just Pith. Bro, I upbeat. Ain't no way. Mm, I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, like, what are the percentages of getting, like, another... What are the percentages of getting another Final Smash? 
Is it like rare? It doesn't seem rare. It seems like, I mean, obviously it's like once per game. That's what it looks like. Mm, I love that. I love the like light nair tip for it. Dang, bro. Hold up. Catch her like this. I'm noticing a theme here. Um, a lot of the players, not players, a lot of the characters that I play online that are like zoners or campers are like really fun offline. So like Richter and Simon, atrocious online, but they are hella fun. Like I would legitimately pick them up offline. Legitimately, I could see that if Sephiroth and Pyra weren't in here, or Sora, or any other of the cast that are um, actually fun to play. Um, Zelda fits that slot as well, you know? Zelda isn't necessarily boring to play. I think it's just my interp- Ugh, can't even speak. I think it's just my interpretation of um, how I play certain characters, you know? I don't really play like the niche way. I tend to play everyone like, you know, like it's my time to play, woohoo, you know. Hold on Smashers, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Basically, I'll explain what's happening to you. Um, the world's being torn apart, life energy. I kicked her, she kicked me, final smash. I'm about to die, bro. Um, I'm about to die. I died. Um, and uh, you can open your eyes now. I'm sorry, the whole world was exploding behind us and uh, I know how smash players are. But Pith's first win? Is she understanding? Actually, she's just winning off of RNG, bro. And a good ass final smash. That final smash looks like it lasted forever. How's oh, she not dead? I actually don't know if I want to do like an attack focus one. Probably not. Well, I don't know. Maybe an attack focus like amiibo or something. I don't know. I'll probably save it because again, I want to do. What is it? I kind of want to do a Zelda where it's like, oh, specials are increased or something. I don't know. There's just so many possibilities with spirits. You guys will have to tell me what, like, the best Zelda, you know, uh, combination is. Sorry, I lost my words. <gasps> oh, okay. I was about to say. Does she have any two frames? Are you, uh, 12 Zelda... Ooh, I thought she was going to go over it. All 12 of you Zelda fans up there, tell me all of the Zelda tech that I need to know. I was about to win that too. I had my final smash meter up, bro. Okay. Pith takes uh, her second game. I had my final smash meter up. Dang, that's crazy. Stop. Guys, it's time for the ultimate test. We're gonna actually play random. I kinda wanna play some random. But we will be playing until she hits um, level 50. Obviously, it's called Road to 50 for a reason. She's ready though. Fifth is ready. I haven't played uh, Gordo Man in a while. Used to be my main, to be honest. Dead.
I think at the start of Ultimate, this was my main. Damn, bro. And she's dead. She's out of here. Oh, I've never played this character. Man, I'm getting all the campy characters. Minus DZ. First time ever. I love the way he just sits there. That's one of the funniest things ever. Oh, and he closes his eyes. This character is cool. I don't care what anyone says. This character is cool. Does his- oh my goodness, does his upper not kill or something? And um, this character's broken. Not in the conventional sense, he just uh, can't operate. Kill, kill me now, bro. Just kill me. Yeah, yeah, just, just kill me. Just end my life, thank you. Dude, like... His upper doesn't kill? Or maybe I just hit it incorrectly? What what are his kill options? I've never played that character in my life, bro. He he actually is pretty fun though. His uh his nair was pretty fun, his whatever, it was pretty fun. Oh my goodness, I, I rarely play Palatina either. Why am I getting all the pseudo zoners? Telling me it doesn't suck her in. I can't suck Pithra. What am I doing with my life, guys? This is just showing how bad my knowledge is of Smash. Hey, I know how to fight against these characters. I never said I knew how to fight as these characters. You know what I mean? That's right, I also know how to fight as these characters. How stale is that move? Oh no, she's gonna spam it. Well, to be fair, I have learning off and that was the wrong move anyway, so... She's not going to spam anything.
watch this. And that's two wins. That is two wins. Two wins, one loss. I think actually. I, I don't actually know now that I think about it. Because I played D to D in the beginning, right? Without the comeback happening, it would have been nice, especially because I, I don't know how to play Ness, but um, you know, that's fine. We can go 2 2, I guess. We're actually dead even, you know? Hopefully, you know, sometime in the future, I get someone I know how to play. Maybe a sortie? Maybe someone who. Ah, see? Yeah, now, now we're talking. My first amiibo. On this jink ass stage, what the fuck? It's actually worse for me because this is a way bigger stage. Yeah, it's a way bigger stage, so she's just gonna live longer. I gotta hit the dang it. Fuck. I knew she was gonna instantly do it too. Survive. Mm. Dude, that lasted so much longer than it should have. Wait, did I hit the final smash on the last one? I don't think- it, if I didn't, then uh, I think I lost. I have to hit at least one final smash. Per character. It's a rule. I was really hoping I would... You have got to be kidding me. Well, I probably lost this one, even if I win. Guys, yeah, sorry if there's no- mm. Sorry if there's noise in the background. I got neighbors, bro. Can't really do anything about it. Damn, bro. She hit me with that. Yeah, that state and that match was just rigged to be honest. She had a big ass stage and then better everything realistically. Oh my goodness. I, I have I'm just not getting anyone. Cut the score, like I'm not Oh my Yo, do it again, I dare you.
that? kind of funny. Destined. Oh, that's how it was meant to be. E. I say that, but oh no, 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 no. Ah, oh, thank you. All is good. Serenity. I was, I was about to say, if I lost that, if I seriously, honestly lost that, I might. I might have considered retiring from all of life. Ooh. Alright. We're good. I'm gonna be honest, I still have no idea what I'm doing with Steve. There's a reason I stick to sorties. Like, there's a reason. Bowser. The only problem in this matchup with Final Smashes is that because I'm a heavy, I'm gonna last, but at the same time, I'm still just gonna die early at 100. You know what I mean? It doesn't really change anything. It kind of evens out the playing field, to be honest, because I am a heavy. But, um, I guess not really. I mean, I don't know if it's a stage or what it is, but, like, I'm just shredding. I mean, Bowser is really good, so... I'm surprised I don't see as much Bowser gameplay in a, you know, competitive. And it's probably because of that. It's alright. Oh, she got her final smash too. She doesn't know how to air dodge though. So 
you need to know. She doesn't know how to air dog. That's fine. I take advantage of that. Piss, piss, piss. She's actually pretty good, bro. Her spacing is impeccable. Which that's why I thought. That's why I was calling out. But it feels like it shouldn't hit. You know what I mean? Anyway, with all that being said, it is time for the final battle. And yes, I'm going in Pyro this time because I've been playing a lot of Pyro lately. We are going to have to get used to this. Not really used to like, you know, an obstacle like this just being there. Nice, except for the part where she uh, attacked the whole thing. No, I can survive this! Bro... fine you can cheese me like that oh my goodness i really gotta stop going upwards every time well it was fun while i lasted guys um I, unfortunately i'm running out of time and uh i think that's the end of the video i've learned a lot of math and stuff um i've learned a lot about shapes and numbers and squares and pythagorean theorem just isn't for me you know but you know what it is for you, my other content. Um, I'm sure you're gonna click off this video and be like, hmm, what else should I do with my life besides spend, uh, you know, 30, 40, 50, I don't know how long like, this video is, but what else should I do with my life besides listening to this guy talk about uh, fictional AI characters? Um, that's not for me to, to decide, but um, you are more than welcome to use my entertainment media as a source of uh belonging so yeah i feel like you belong in the monstrous community if that makes sense i don't know have freedom have a justification and remember you guys are um cool yeah see you guys in the next one peace